Okay, so let me tell you something. I wasn't sure if this lab incident was real or staged. I was watching it live with my wife. I was actually playing Elden Ring. And, and I had that thing in the background. And, and she told me what happened and I couldn't believe it. And after the replay, you know, they, they show us me acting super weird. Javier Bardem and his wife are... Everything looked normal, like seemed normal to me. He loses. He can't win. He's mentioning Will in the previous joke. Everybody's laughing. It's a regular stupid Oscar moment. Love you. G.I. Jane 2. Can't wait to see it. All right. All right. Uh, and then the joke. And, and he's laughing. And from that point, that was a nice one. we don't see Will again till he does this. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And even the walking, like, why did he walk like the Prince of Bel Air? I don't understand. This is what we want to al analyze in this video. That sound, like, and that's the reason why I feel like th that couldn't be staged or, or fake. It sounded like he hit the microphone or something. I don't know what it was, but there's one way to know. We need to send this to the NPC, analyze it, and try to make something out of it, something musical. So let's go. Okay, so step one, we want to record it. I recorded the full video. Because I'm gonna be playing with this later. Like, I wanna find more sounds or something. So. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife. The whole thing, empathy. And now we'll. First, like, top priority, what we, what we must do is extract this lap. <laughs> Sounds like this. <laughs> Of course, there's a bit more audio after, but I don't know. I, I wanted the hit. I wanted the attack of that slap and a little bit of a tail. So let's see what we can do later. This is a slap, right? Now, I just assigned the slap to one of the pads in one of my drum programs. The one where I have all my snares, kicks and stuff. And yeah, if we compare it with those others, it sounds a bit weird. Of course, I improved it a little bit. Check this out. I had to cut, as you can see here, like kind of using the amplitude envelope, reduce, like just keep the attack and get rid of the tail. But I didn't like the tail. You can hear the, like everybody talking and it's a bit disturbing. So let me show you with more tail. So we, so you approve my decision. I mean, it could be interesting. I actually like it like this. Boom. I also decided to lower it. A semitone. Because I had this song planned uh, I was working with. And, and the song is in A... I forgot. It's D-sharp Locrian. Nerdy theory stuff. But I need an A-sharp. Sorry, I need an a, a regular A? Yeah, I need regular normal A. No sharp or flat. So, yeah. So now check this uh, very short groove. But it still doesn't sound like a snare. If I add a little bit more of the tail. Sounds funny. It sounds like a clap, like a slap. I don't know. <laughs> but just to fix it and be more on the on the musical side of things, I decided to layer it with other 
other snare sounds. This is going to be my clap slash snare for, for this song. I have these other sounds. This is my favorite clap. But it's at a very low volume. Uh, I can also reduce a little bit of um, the attack. But what I actually did was delaying the delaying the whole sample. So it's minus six five zero in the sample page, the, the third sample page. Um, this one is for delaying samples or playing them, shorten them actually. So minus six five zero there. And whenever I hit it, there's going to be a bit of a space, like a blank s silence before the sample is played. And I need that because that space is for the attack of the clap, of the slap, the wheel slap. So if I play it now together, it sounds a bit more full, it sounds like more in the stereo field. Um, I also, for this one, I'm using sample delay. Ah, uh, it's very tiny, right? But this effect is called sample delay. It's very good because it sends things to the side for a fraction of a second. So left and right do this very fast. Like sample delay for per percussive sounds, it's amazing. If you If you need something like that in stereo, go to your effects page and find it a sample delay and now i feel like we need something more bright right the, the, it's getting too dark we have this lap remember we have this lap we have the clap sounds like ah uh, huh. but i need something more e so i thought maybe this sound e it's a bit more bright different harmony this one, according to the MPC, is hitting an, an E minor, E, fundamental. So if we layer this sound, uh, of course, I remove a little bit of the attack because what I want is like that bell thingy that you can hear in the back. And now we got it. I feel like that's what we wanted. The program, there's an air spring reverb in there. And that's good for creating space and, you know, getting longer tails. I also decided to send the main slap to one of my send channels where I have like a very long spacey reverb. But the value, the value here is seven. It's not much. Um, with, with, without it, lots of it, even more. But I think seven is all right. Seven. Without it, seven. Seven is good. It's like some air, you know. We need space. And uh, I think I did the same for the others. No, no, the others don't have it. The others are like basically a natural tail. But the, the whole program, it's being affected by this air spring reverb at 33% mix. And, and just to make things more spacey, because the clap was, remember, we reduced the sound to a fraction of nothing. And that's how you do it. That's how you layer the wheel slap on, on this drum program to create a new snare sound that is actually harmonic, you know, it's like, it's perfectly tuned with additional tail help, you know, from real snares and claps, but it's there, you can hear it. Without it. You see how it's like adding so much attack? Okay, so now I'm just gonna have fun with this new sound and mix it with my, you know, in my beat and see how it feels. Let me know if you feel like this doesn't really sound like a real snare. <laughs> um, let's go. <laughs> 